Now I'm gonna give you an awesome secret, which is fruit crumbles, which everybody loves fruit crumble. And what you're gonna do is we're gonna make a lot of topping and you keep the topping in a bag in your fridge. And then whenever you find a beautiful fruit, which I'll show you how to prepare, you just put it in a ramekin, sprinkle this stuff on top and bake it. So I'm gonna show you how to make the topping. Uh, you can eyeball this if you want, but it's basically a cup and a half of flour, some brown sugar. Okay, and you're gonna kind of shake that up and mix it in here, right? A stick and a half of butter. <laughs> la, 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 la. Don't let them see you do this part. And this is great if you have like, if the boy comes over suddenly or the girl comes over and you and you have, and there's some peaches and you can make a little peach crumble. You're gonna have to put your hand in eventually and just kind of smush this around. The butter that I put in here is uh, not room temperature because then it would just, it would make a batter sort of. So this is cold, regular cold butter. I like to put a little bit of oatmeal in it. I think it makes it crunchier and better. I would say about that much. Now this is for any fruit that you have all summer long and all winter. You can use this to make dessert in literally like 20 minutes. And then you just keep this in your fridge, sealed the air out like that. And you're like, oh, would you like a crumble? Let's make a filling. So I thought we'd make a apple blackberry tart because it sounded nice. And these are honey crisp apples are very delicious. And you don't really need that much, but you're gonna slightly macerate this. And if you remember from early episodes, macerate essentially means cook in sugar chemically cook the fruit for a minute or two before we cook it in the oven. Cut this. It's the wrong knife, but that's okay. And you can use any fruit. I wouldn't use anything that really sweats like melon or, or uh, peaches, you know, just don't put all the juice that you're gonna get in the, in the bowl because they're very liquidy. So I'm just gonna make sort of like thin slices so the thing about using apples is that they brown. You remember that it's the same chemical that's in self-tanner that makes apples brown. So you wanna throw that in there, in your bowl. Okay, then you wanna put some lemon juice on there because um, it'll brown otherwise. This is totally eyeballed, all right? A little bit of lemon juice. And I have some cleaned blackberries that I'm going to combine with the apples. Like this, and then I'm gonna pour sugar all over it. So leave that for a little bit. 10 minutes, 20 minutes. This you can do while the guy is sitting right there. You can just cut this up, macerate it, and have this in the fridge, uh, and then you're gonna assemble it and bake it. It's very easy. If you wanna do this country style, you just pour the fruit in the thing. We're gonna make it a teeny bit fancier. I'm just gonna very lightly butter these for no reason, because we're not making a pie. Suggestion, put them in a sheet pan because they can bubble over and destroy your kitchen. I don't know if I have enough to make four, so I'm gonna leave that one. In the meantime, when nobody was looking, I poured some of that vanilla paste in here also. Take my apples and I'm just gonna cover the bottom neatly instead of just jumbling them in, which I normally would do. And you can do this on the fly, trust me. I mean, I've made it in 10, literally 10 minutes. People put cinnamon, nutmeg in the um, filling thing. I, I don't. I think it's a summer, it's a lovely kind of summer dessert. I don't, I don't know. In the winter, you can do that. Here we go. When you take it out, you wanna try and get equal amounts of butter on each, each one. Don't, don't leave butter in the pan, whatever you do. And equal amounts of flour. You don't want too much butter. So think of a, think of a crumble. What does a crumble look like? The top is covered in a crunchy crust, right? So you wanna make it look like that, but raw. 
There's nothing worse than an under crumbled crumble. I'm just gonna put a teeny bit of salt, like Salt Bay. That guy drives me nuts. Why is he famous? I don't understand that. These are gonna go into a 375 oven for visual timing. You're gonna look at it. When it's bubbling and that's brown, it's ready to take it out. Here we go. Goodbye, little crumbles. Have a good time in the oven. So basically I just did this visually. I just waited until it was very bubbly and brown and crispy on top, which it is. And um, you know, this is just a perfect sort of spring or summer dish, deliciousness, crumble. As I said, you can keep the topping in the uh, fridge and use it for any food you have on hand. Peaches, but drain the juice, apples, anything you'd like. You know, this is something you can do on the spot, on the fly, and it takes a very, very short amount of time. Fruit crumble. Oh yeah, it's not a fumble to make a crumble. Nothing worse than an under crumbled crumble.